Hello world, welcome to the 65th video on my channel where I'm building my own digital assistant named Shane, like Jarvis from the Iron Man movies and comics. Uh, this is the third video in my Gmail API playlist. And uh, I get, this is one of my more popular uh, videos, especially the first one. It's the second most popular video on my channel. So I'll leave a link in the description to this playlist. And I got one comment asking if I could show a video of how to mark messages as read once you viewed them. So this is a continuation on the second video in this playlist. So make sure you've watched the first and second one up to this point. So this is something I wanted to do for my own project. So in this video, I'll show you how to mark unread emails as read. Leave a comment and please subscribe to my channel if there's something you want me to do and make a video with the Gmail API. So we're going to start off in the code since uh, this wasn't intuitive for me. So the APIs are very specific to the people who created them and some are done really well and intuitive and some can be complicated. I personally think this Gmail API is complicated, but let's dive in. So in the first video, we had this scopes variable and it looked like this and it ended with dot read only and that only gives you the permission to read only. So we'll have to make a new scopes variable called dot modify. So that's the first step. Uh, we're going to skip this comment that says if modifying these scopes delete the file token dot pickle and uh, that was part of the original source code if you watched in the first video. All right, then we'll scroll all the way down to where we left off in the second video. And that was to print the unread emails. So I'm going to create an input where um, I'm going to call it mark as read underscore choice. And to ask myself, would I like to mark these as read? Then I'm going to enter yes. And then for each message in messages, so make sure you watch the second video because up here, we defined messages as results.get the messages and we're going to add it to this list. So for each message in this messages, we're going to execute this code right here. Let me move my glorious face with a beard. And you're going to do service.users parentheses dot message parentheses dot modify user ID equals me. So we're doing this to ourselves. So the ID, it's the message ID. And what we're going to do is remove the IDs of unread and then we're going to execute this. So I'll leave this on for a second. So you don't have to pause my video. And then anything else, which I wouldn't ask myself anything else or answer anywhere else is. So if I said, no, I don't want to, it would just end this code. Okay, so those are the first two things I'm going to show you. So what we did was we changed the scopes to this gmail.modify. We commented out the read only. And then for each message in the messages, we're going to do this uh, execute right here. So let's see what happens when we run this code. Okay, so I have one unread message. That wasn't planned. I should have planned that before I ran this. Would I like to see these messages? Yes. All right. So I have some spam email from a company called Indochino. And uh, would I like to mark these as read? So this is new from the previous video. So let's click yes. Okay, and so it executed correctly. So let's uh, run that again. So now it says I have no new messages. OK, so if you run this code and you get a 403 error, right, it says you do not have the permissions, what you have to do is read this comment here. It says, if modifying these scopes, delete the file token.pickle. 
So you need to find your uh, code from the second video. And you'll see a file called token.pickle. So just go ahead and move that. It doesn't matter where. Don't You don't have to follow what I'm doing. Okay, so now this token.pickle is not in our directory. And now let's run, the, well, let's uh, mark an email as unread so we can run this code again. So let's go, mark is unread. So I should have one unread email now. And it's going super fast, super slow because I am recording the video. Okay, so I have one unread email. So let's run this again. And now it's taking me to this right here. So it says I have to sign in to Google. If you don't regularly sign into your Google, you're going to have to authorize this. It says this app isn't verified by Google yet. So go to advanced, go to quick start unsafe. Now I'm running Chrome, so this might look different for you if you're running Internet Explorer. So grant quick start permission. View and modify, but not delete your email. We're going to allow that. So you are allowing quick start to view and modify, but not delete your email. Yeah, sure. It says the, the authentication flow has completed. You may close this window. So it says, we have one unread message. Would you like to see your message? Yes. Okay, so that's the same email. Would you like to mark these as read? Yes. There you go. And now if we run the code again, it should tell us we have no unread messages. Okay. So let's click yes. So, okay, I got a new email from Quick Start saying uh, yeah, I was granted access. So let's mark that one as red. Now let's go back. You have no new messages, and it ends. So there you go. That is how you do that. So just a quick summary. Change the scopes to dot .modify. Then move your token.pickle file. Add this code. You don't have to ask yourself if you want to uh, mark these as red. But just know that if you don't and you just go straight to this code right here, this execute, it's going to automatically do it for you. So this just gives me a chance to decide. All right. So not really automated if you have that, um, if you have to allow it. So, but now I don't have to do that. So I think you just have to do it once and then you should be good. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to like it if you did and subscribe to my channel. Thanks. Goodbye world.